about $40,000 per home. Uh, still, there were problems in New Orleans. When, when New Orleans came, there were, there were two kinds of risk. One was wind damage, and the other one was flood damage. Uh, and it turns out, I, I was saying earlier that an insurance policy tries to define the, uh, the, the loss very carefully and precisely because it's going to end up costing the insurance company billions of dollars. They got to get it exactly right. But they had different coverage for, for wind loss and flood loss. Now, the problem is, when you have a hurricane, which is it? What was, what, what was the problem that hit your house? Because it was both wind and flood. Um, so there was rankling and uh, there was uh, wrangling over the uh, definition. Another problem, I'm almost done here. I just wanted to talk about another kind of risk that worries us a great deal that, uh, uh, that tends not to be covered well by a uh, traditional insurance company, and that's terrorism risk. Okay? Most insurance policies traditionally have excluded acts of war or terrorism from coverage, and they, f they feel that they have to exclude it because those are correlated risks, right? If, uh, if, the, uh, if there's a war, it's going to cause the probability, uh, they're not independent probabilities of damage. Uh, and so insurance companies have excluded it. But it turns out that these are some of the risks that we worry most about. Uh, and so, um, what, we, what we had in the United States was TRIA, which was the Terror, Terrorism Risk Insurance Act in 2000. Well, it started 